this championship worked out. After their defeat in the 92 league final, Tipperary faced a difficult start in Munster two weeks later. Here's Ger Canning. Kevin Hennessy in after it. Ball one to Lewis. Stump it's given. The press goal. In the Leinster semi final, Kilkenny played their trump card against Offaly, introducing Christy Heffernan on the 40 and then scoring 1 7 without reply in the last 25 minutes. And it's a great goal! There were scores of plenty in the other semi final, but eight points separated Wexford and Dublin at the finish. Well gathered by Eamon Cleary. Turning it in towards Billy Byrne. Tom Dempsey to his left. This is Martin Storey. Oh! Shot. July and Limerick came to Porky Cueve, confident of a first Munster final triumph for 11 years. The game turned on a goal that should never have been. Kevin Hennessy in there with Tomas Balcani without the stick. Has to kick. He's kicked it in. Kilkenny turned up the heat in the Leinster final and Wexford wilted under the pressure. In terms of scoring chances, it's been Kilkenny taking 10 out of 17 chances. Wexford, 7 out of 24. But DJ Carey now coming in, and he's rattled it in! <laughs> DJ Carey taking that resultant free in towards Christian. Runs on the hole. In Ulster, the expected march of Antrim to yet another seemingly annual All-Ireland semi-final was abruptly ended by neighbours down. But again, down on the attack. Good running. Off the crossbar. Noel Keith. Fine put out by Keith. Sands again, leaves it to Hughes. Gets his puck in, in front of goal. The chance for Bailey. Again, Bailey gets a shot in. And so to Croke Park, and Cork looking anything but comfortable after the early down assaults. Now, Jared McGrattan on the run. Jared McGrattan, a point would really do something for Jared McGrattan's confidence. And the down flags are flying high now. Pat Buckley in midfield. Has the legs here on uh, Gary Savage, Pat Buckley. Tony Sullivan has made a decoy run. Buckley comes through and kicks a lovely point. So Cork advanced to another final. In the second semi-final, Kilkenny had to come from behind to see off the challenge of a refashioned Ball Galway team. Driving it in fast and low. Willie O'Connor, Willie O'Connor, losing out to Justin Campbell. And Justin Campbell gathers it nicely, cutting through. Goal opportunity. Oh, what a goal! John Power showing that they've handballers down that part of the country as well. Again, DJ Carey giving it inside. Ian Finley coming across. Richard Burke has to come out to clear. When he gets to the short distance, and Liam McCarthy puts it in. Conditions in September were less than ideal for the All-Ireland final. Not that it seemed to distract Kilkenny all that much. Indeed, once they warmed to the task, there was no denying the merit of their win or the determined attitude to bridge a nine-year gap. Meanwhile, Shawnee McCarthy batting it down at the centre of the field. Well fed back by Michael Phelan to Pat O'Neill. A day for rolling up the sleeves and doing the simple things well by both teams in towards Big Christie. Being marked in there by Dennis Mulcahy. John Parr foraging. John Parr breaking through. And John Parr scoring. Van Hartnett beaten for it by DJ Carey. Fumbled in there by Pat Buckley. And it's the other number eight feeling who takes it inside towards Liam McCarthy. Yes, Croke Park last September. Where will the Lee McCarthy be going this year? Well, that's what Jimmy Barry Murphy and Kieran Barry.